Hello, I'm Daniel, and I'm very interested in savannah monitor lizards, or bock, as I prefer to call it, and a friend suggested that I make some videos about them, because I'm getting old and because my health's a bit dodgy. So I made one last week about ticks, but it took a real long time, so now I'm going to try and make short videos myth-busting some of the crap that's talked about bock. There's probably more crap talked about bock than almost any animal on the internet. Why? Perhaps because bock owners tend to have very little experience of reptiles in general, they lack any background in biology, and that's allowed ridiculous myths that wouldn't be tolerated anywhere else to spread through the savannah monitor community like loathsome diseases, and persist there for years. So, like a lot of bock victims, I bought bock when I was a teenager in the 1980s, didn't know anything about it, managed to keep it alive for about three years, couldn't find any information about the animal because everything I read about Varanus exanthematicus referred to Varanus albigularis, which is a very different animal than the same species in those days. I went to some libraries, I wrote some letters, I visited some zoos, I got invited to some scientist study sites, and eventually I went back to school, got some qualifications, went to university, studied zoology, and at the end of my first year, I got a £1,000 grant from the Nuffield Foundation to investigate the trade of Bok in Ghana. And that was 1994, and I'm still working with a lot of the people that I worked with then. Well, we've conducted field work on Bok between 1994 and 2002, and then from 2016 up to the present, and in between I mainly studied Varanus olivaceus in the Philippines. Bok is an endangered animal, guessing funding to study is close to impossible, and that Nuffield grant I got when I was a student still the biggest lump sum I've ever had for Bok. Very much a labour of love and it's largely self-funded. You can read more about it at savmom.org if you're interested. That's enough about me and in the next video I'll start busting some of the worst savannah monitor myths.